Hello, my friends. This is Brian, the speaker for the dead. Now, I, I know what you're thinking. God, didn't he just quit YouTube like two or three weeks ago? Now he's making videos every day? I know, right? Um, well, I wasn't really planning on making this video today, but um, something that uh, Overlord DVD put out in one of his latest videos caught my attention. So I went looking and researching to find out how much truth there was to it. But not that I don't believe him, but it, you know, always check your sources. Um, and uh, he was right. And uh, what, what he's right about and what I'm going to try and do a short video without too much swearing is um, that Disney's going to reboot The Rocketeer. So, Brian, why, why do you, I mean, so they're, they're rebooting another thing. That's, that's what Disney does. That's all they can do is, is reboot the ideas of the past because the people who run Disney now are all brain dead from the neck up, you know, um, and, and they're unable to be anything other than just terrorists of, uh, of other people's ideas, you know, ter terrorize their ideas and steal their their thunder and, and buy their IPs to be crapped upon and you know the drill. It's Disney now, which is sad. But why this bothers me the way it does is that the Rocketeer is special to me. Special in a way that I don't know, maybe maybe other people have this, but for me, The Rocketeer holds a place in my life that is almost untouchable by any other film. Not, is, it, is it because it's the greatest film ever made? No, it's not Citizen Kane. It's not, you know, uh, any, any of the other, Gone with the Wind, any of the, you know, Ten Commandments, any of the great epics. The Rocketeer is special because of my son. My son and I bonded over the Rocketeer. Now, my son is my oldest. He was my firstborn. And when he was three or four-ish, um... I introduced him to the Rocketeer because I liked the Rocketeer. That was great. Well, my son didn't just like the Rocketeer. My son loved, ecstatically, emphatically, crazy loved the Rocketeer. Would watch it continuously, day after day after day. And, and the crazy thing is, I really never got tired of hearing it playing or walking through and seeing it playing. I mean, he'd be he'd be playing while it was on in the background. And he'd be playing the Rocketeer. It became such a thing in my house that my brother, who was a welder at the time, built my son a metal rocket pack that was just his size. Now, this metal rocket pack weighed as much as my son did, so it was a little impractical, but it was the thought. It had things for the shoulder straps. It was, I mean, it had the cones on the top. I mean, it wasn't perfect, but to my son, it was, it was the Rocketeer's rocket pack. My son was the Rocketeer that year for Halloween. I think we took a box and cut it to make the helmet. And, um, but I mean, he, he loved that film. And because of that, because we both love it, we really bonded over it. To show you how long that's been in our lives, my son and I, the first video we ever did together, we reviewed The Rocketeer. Um, and and it, we just had a lot of fun reliving those memories and talking about what, you know, why we liked it and why it was so great. Well, so now, now you understand why that is such a special movie. That movie is an absolute treasure. If you have not seen The Rocketeer, shame on you. Go get a copy of it. Get on Disney Plus, heaven forbid. 
but you know, find somebody who's got a copy and borrow it. Go watch The Rocketeer. I mean it. You will not regret it. It is the quintessential American hero comic book come to life movie that I wish was still being made. Now, Marvel movies are great, but this movie was simplistic, yet detailed. It, it had all of the right mix. You you had uh, Campbell, I can't think of his last name, or his first name, um, was the Rocketeer, was the main character. Um, you had, uh, oh, I'm losing names here, I apologize. And, and you all know who I'm talking about. She was in The Labyrinth. That's where she got her start. But she's gone on to do a lot of different films. She was in Elite of Battle Angel. She was just, she's all over the place now. But this was another big role for her. And this is when she was in her, like, holy cow, super hot stage. Uh, Connolly. Je Jennifer Connolly. There we go. <laughs> got it at the end. Um, but this, this had a great supporting cast. You had Timothy Dalton as, as the bad guy. You had um, this, I don't know, don't know who the guy played the part, but there's this huge guy that's kind of the beefy muscle of the, of the, the he's the, you know, the, the henchman of the main villain. Then you've got the mafia, you know, the 1940s and 50s mafia. And uh, it just, just so, so great, this story. And it, it incorporates a lot of, Historic. Actually, I think this was done in the it was uh, 30s because it was before World War II, time periodic wise. But I mean, this this thing was great. It had the perfect amount of patriotism and and love of the United States. Which, God forbid, you do that nowadays. We're all supposed to hate America. We're the worst country ever, right? I mean, yay! Oh, we are now. We are exactly. We. We are not the America that we once were. And it's sad. Just look at what's happening this last couple of weeks with Afghanistan. If the old America would not have done that. We would not have left our people behind. We, anyway, that's political. I'm not gonna, anyway, that's just a good example of what's wrong. This movie was amazing. The, the acting, the villains, the, the comedic... Uh, stuff that happened in this, the, the timing, the the jokes, the one-liners, the, the I mean, they're very funny. Um, I can't think of the older guy's name. He plays Peebo, uh, or PB, pardon me. Uh, uh, he's the old air mechanic that works with um, the Rocketeer. And he's hilarious. I, I, I love that guy. He's just a funny guy. He was in Get Smart. Um, but just, just fantastic actor and at one point he's sitting there and he's, he's like what, you know uh, what's his name the rocketeer looks at him and goes what do you think was happening at the house tonight after the big shootout scene at their house and he's like we don't have a house liver we have a gazebo because <laughs> it just got riddled with machine gun fire I mean it's just just funny and, and clever and witty it just it's such a good film, such a good, fun family film that you can all sit down together and enjoy a, an American classic. And now Disney is going to reboot it again. They've already done it once in cartoon form with some girl, I guess. I, I, I'm taking uh, Doomcock's word for that. I've never seen that. But now they're going to now they're going to race swap the Rocketeer to be a former Tuskegee Airman, you know, because the left's obsessed with that event. Funny thing is, is I'd love to know, I, I've never really researched that topic. I'd love to know who was in charge of the government, who was president when that was happening, who, who was involved in all of that. Because you know what, the, the, the left seems to forget it was their side that was involved in all of the racism of, of, those, of those times. It was the Democrats that supported the KKK. The Democrats that were the members of the KKK. It was, it was them that supported and, and pushed segregation. It was them 
that burned crosses on the front of black people's lawns. It was, it was them. They were the wicked, horrible racists, and they've not changed. They've just altered their tactics and language. Look at how they treat the black community. They, they use them to get elected. Anyway, I'm just saying, it, Hollywood thinks it's pure as the driven snow, but it's not. They're the same people that oppressed the African-American population and any other ethnic group of, in the past. They just do it in a different way now. I mean, this is just another hand-me-down. This is just another leftover for them. They can't come up with a, for some reason, they can't come or won't come up with a new character for black people to base their own characters and lores and stories on. Why do they have to use the Rocketeer? Because they just have to. It gives them legitimacy, they think. <laughs> I'm really trying not to swear because I there's so many F words in the back of my head swirling around right now and I'm trying to keep them in and uh, whew, it's getting hard um, but because this is just disgusting to me not because I, I don't black people can be just as big a hero Asian people can be just as big anybody can be just as big a hero as anybody else I'm not saying that you can't be. I'm saying, why do you have to take something that belongs to someone else, someone else's ideas, someone else's characters, and bastardize them in a way that they were never intended to be used? The Rocketeer wasn't black. He was white. It's based on a very specific book. I, I mean, why couldn't they have called... Why, why couldn't they come up with a new concept, the, the Tuskegee Rocket, Rocketeer, or the, or the you know, whatever, name name whatever, I mean, insert whatever name here uh, that, you, that suits you, but nope, nope, they can't do that. They, they've got to steal, because they are morally, ethically, and creatively bankrupt. I will not watch this. I will not watch I, I won't watch it once. I won't even look at it. I absolutely not. I will not let them bastardize this for me or for my son. I'm going to warn him about this because I mean, he, he is, feels very much about things like that. I do, um, you know, uh, obviously in some ways. And we're, I mean, we're, we're very similar and different in other ways, but it's just, it, it is, it's things like this that strike so close to home that just that just make me want to grab people and choke the life out of them. Not literally. Figured, okay, a little bit literally. But, I mean, seriously. Can, can you leave us nothing untainted, uncorrupted, undiluted, untokenized? Can you do that with anything? They can't. They can't. I, I'm listening to a series of books right now by um, Brandon Sanderson. It's called the Mistborn series. There's a, there's a feminine character in this. this freaking awesome. Trained by a guy. She's super awesome. An independent, creative thing that he's done himself. He's a, a, a New York Times best-selling author. Has loads of books, and I'm really enjoying these books. But I mean, it's. But they can't do that. I mean, they can't think of anything of, of their own. They just have to shit on somebody else's work and pretend like they're geniuses. I, I, anyway, let me know what you think about this. Do you care that they're going to bastardize the Rocketeer? I just do because it is such a personal memory and personal thing for me and my son. And it just, it angers me beyond belief that they are going to do this. That, that they think that they have the right to screw up something that is not theirs. It's not theirs. The guy who wrote this is dead. I mean, can you not leave the dead alone? I mean, you have to pilfer. You have to steal from their tombs. 
you know, you bought the rights at one point and, and you made the movie and it looked a lot like what he did in his books. It was fantastic. But no, you have to go back and rob his grave after he's dead. Have you no shame? No, oh, that's a stupid question. Of course, they have, they have shame. What am I talking about? They have no morals. To have shame, you have to have morals. You have to have some sense of decency. And no one in Hollywood has that. So, ah, rhetorical question. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Do you feel like this is something that should be done? That you want to see done? Are you going to give this a chance? I, I'm not. I'm not. You guys have to tell me what happens in it because I, I would rather stick forks in my eyes uh, than, than watch this. You know, uh, it, 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 it's like Star Trek Discovery. Nah, no. Nope. Uh, yeah. Dab in my own eyes, that would be preferable. I just, I will not, I will not allow the corruption that is happening now to taint what I love in that way. I just won't do it. Anyway, thanks. Let me know what you think. Talk to you next time. Bye now.